Hi, this is me again, Mr. Zamora, and I am here to explain 8DD2. Interpret charts and graphs to find mean, median, mode, and range. Okay, so instead of having just a series of numbers like that, we are going to have graphs, we're going to have tables or charts. All right, for example, we have uh, this table or chart and it is talking about days and it is talking about hours so if you want to read this you can do it um, it is recommended but it's not necessary so to get credit for meeting her school's community service requirement Anita kept a volunteer log so on Monday she gave five hours of her time as a volunteer tuesday three wednesday two thursday two and friday three so they are asking us about the range remember the range is the difference between the higher and the lowest number so the lowest number here is two we have actually two twos all right so anyway you can choose any two and the the higher number is five so the difference between 2 and 5 is 3, and that is our range, okay? So we only subtract um, 5 minus 2 equals 3, and that's our answer, okay? Terrific. So we have this other chart, uh, days and number of autographs, and range. Again, we are being asked about range. So our lowest number is two okay and our highest number is six there are two six we choose only one and so from two to six the difference is four okay submit okay another chart uh we have people julie carmen ashley eric and brenna and number of clubs three three five 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 okay two threes and and three fives what is the mode remember the mode is the number that is most repeated so five is repeated three times and three is only two times okay so the answer is five we submit our answer um obviously you have to watch the previous video to understand this what moda mean range uh, is what, what they are and if you don't understand watch the previous video or just uh, look up for definitions on the internet about these words uh, so we have a school district and we have different uh, schools they are high schools um, so the mean the mean is remember what the mean is it's yeah it's the average so we have to add we have to use our calculator let me grab my calculator calculator and we're going to add uh six i'm sorry uh six six plus uh what is this number two plus two two plus two plus nine this nine plus four plus another two plus three okay uh, it equals 28 and we divide it by one two three four five six seven we divide it by seven equals four so our mean is four we submit our answer super okay now we have a line graph and what is the median yeah median it's not media media is the average and median is what is the median do you remember yeah give you time to answer that so the median is the number that is right in the middle Okay, the number that is right in the middle, but to do that, we need to order from higher to lowest, so from lowest to higher, whatever you want, uh, you need to 
order, order, order the numbers. All right. So we are going to start with the lowest number that we have, which is four. And then the next one is going to be eight. And we have one, two, three nines. Okay, comma, nine, nine, and nine. So the number that is exactly in the middle is one of the nines. All right, so our median is nine. Okay, awesome. We have another table. Okay, remember that if you find it very easy to do it, you can just stop the video and go straight to your work. Otherwise, you can stay and watch the rest of the, of the video. All right, so an archer, recall what the lab. Okay, so days from Tuesday to Saturday and number of bull size. All right, so what is the median? Again, we need to order the numbers from lowest to higher, for example. So our lowest number is one. And then we have two twos, one and two. We have, oopsie, we have one three and one six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So our median is right here. It's one of the twos. Okay, so we go back to our IXL page and our answer is two. Okay, excellent. So we have a bar graph with days of the week and number of boxes. What is the mode? The number that is most repeated. So two is repeated two times. Uh, this is eight. It is repeated one, two, three times. And 10 is repeated two times. So the mode, the number that is most repeated is eight. All right, we submit our answer. And okay, uh, what is the mean of these numbers? So we have to add them up. We need our calculator. So it is two plus five plus two plus one plus one plus two. Thirteen. Yeah, am I, am I right? Two, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, and three, thirteen. Divided by one, two, three, four, five, six. Divided by six equals this. Uh, it doesn't mention. Um, okay, well, two point, it doesn't mention about rounding it, but it always says that we need to round it to the nearest hundredth. Uh, round it to the nearest hundredth uh, is to include only two numbers after the decimal point. So this, we're not going to write all of that, okay? But rounded means not only to erase the rest, it means to decide whether it is going to be a six, it is going to be a six just like it is, or it is going to be converted to a seven. So we need to look to at, at the next number. If the number is five or higher, it is going to go up. This is going to go up. If it is four or lower or lower than five, uh, it is going to remain the same number, which it will be six. So in this case, because it is uh, a five or higher, now it is going to be a seven. So it's 2.17. Uh, but I'm not pretty sure about this one. Okay, if it mar marks us a, an incorrect answer, uh, we are going to find out why why it was incorrect so four um 
Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, well, I didn't understand the, the idea of what. So the number of times her classmates, so uh, two people uh, say that it was uh, two, so th they were actually two people in two, two people in, in, okay, one people in two, another people in two, so it was four, four people, or anyways, whatever, okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so we have this. What is the mean? Again, the mean. So uh, we need to add three, three plus, um, this is four plus six plus six plus two plus five plus three plus three equals 32 divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divided by eight equals four. So what does it mean? Four, okay? Uh, another one, Dwayne recall how many goals he had made in soccer practice, okay? So the mean again, so four and eight is 12, and two is 14 and six because three and three is six it's 20 so the mean for these numbers is one two three four five so it's 20 divided by five equals four okay and this is going to be the very last one um so uh, pay attention to this one. So we have a, a line number, I mean a line graph, and we have days of the week, and we have temperature. Uh, okay, what is the mean? Again, the mean, the average of this. So we're going to need 7, 7 plus 7 plus 9 plus 4 plus 10 plus 6 plus 6 equals 49 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times uh, divided by 7 equals 7. Okay, so the mean is 7. Okay, let me know if you have any question about it and see you next video. Bye-bye.